Hey guys, what's going on? It's in the gym with Team Massive Joes. USA style, baby. Training some legs at the Fitness Factory in Charlotte, North Carolina. So here's Neve warming up some deads. There's 220 kilos off the ground. Warming up with 220, so 260. 260. <laughs> you decided to hit some deadlifts because you felt inspired by the Fitness Factory. Oh, I did, the gym was crazy. While you were deadlifting 260, I was warming up. Yep, so there's 260. Getting ready for our quad workout. And then, now, I thought, then I thought, fuck it. Now this gonna right go, here. We're gonna go train. Yeah, this right here, what you're about to see, viewers at home, is nothing less than an epic quad workout of peace. So this was a this was a volume workout. This was volume. So, so we each were, set was like 15 to 20 reps. 15 to 20 reps. Minimum 15 reps. Maximum, I think we went as high as 25, 30 reps. Just to get that, because we hadn't trained quads in uh, like two weeks. This was our first quad workout in the USA. So we, by this time, had done, I don't know, a no, million no, we, hours no, of no, flying. No, we hit one in LA. Yeah, but it wasn't a full quad workout. It wasn't very good. No, this was our first proper quad workout. So we did... Six exercises, you're about to see six exercises in this bitch. We started off with this here. I don't even know there's a special name for it, but we're just gonna call it leg press, man. Yeah, we both felt, we, we both felt like crap, really, in the leg department, didn't we? We did, we were feeling awfully small. So we thought, no. Nah, so we thought, we're going to Fitness Factory, Charlotte. F it. Swallow, training quads. Swallow. <laughs> Swallow. <laughs> so, so then we moved on to the conventional leg press. Now. This is an awesome leg press. For any company that manufactures gym equipment, just take notes of how this leg press is designed because this right here is the perfect leg press. It is. Do you concur, Neve? I concur. As you can see, the shape, like the, the way that the uh, plate is, what you call it? Manufactured? Shaped. Yep, manufactured. Yeah. So here we are, right, here's Neve doing a drop set. So pump, oh look at the facials on the kid. And you did a lot of reps here, man. So this yeah. workout, the way we did it was we did one warm-up set per exercise, and then we did anywhere between look three... At the, look at the muscle fibers and the quads twitching now. Then we did anywhere between... And as you can see, I just want to say, Joe, oh, on this machine, see, we don't lock it out. We don't uh, re-rack it when we're, t when we're doing a drop set. We just have to hold it up. Okay, so can I get back to telling the viewers at home how the sets went? Do you know how so one when, you know how warm up when is trying to talk. And then we did anywhere between three to five working sets. And we used a bunch of intensification techniques, such as rest pause, such as drop sets, such as all this kind of stuff. But what we did, because it's a volume workout, we wanted constant tension. Boom! Shit! Almost lost my shit. I don't care who you are, where you come from. That's a lot of weight on there, man. 280 kilos. 280 kilos plus the rig. There's at least 300. And my back, oh, and, and my phone. phone felt this as well, yeah. <laughs> apparently. So anyway, we use intensification techniques, but because this was a volume workout, we kept constant tension, which means even with the drop sets and the rest pauses, we never re-racked the weight. So from when the weight was run racked per set, it did not get re-racked. And you see this right here, because I think I did a triple drop set on this bitch. Yeah. So this you're was, about to this see This was it. one of the best quad machines. This was ridiculous. We've ever used. Because you could go heavy as hell and very little knee pain, very little back pain. The only thing that hurt was your shoulders because there was a lot of weight pushing down on them. And now, it, after this workout, I had battle so scars. You can too. see how far back the machine goes. The machine goes back like another meter behind Joe. Yeah, it's a it, big it, machine. It looked like man. a space shuttle about to take off. <laughs> I feel like I need to be an engineer just to step on it. Just to, it did take us a while. We kind of walked around it and kind of looked at what was supposed to move and what wasn't supposed to move just to exactly figure out how to use it. Joe walked up and said, what kind of dog is this? <laughs> <laughs> Where is the on button for this spaceship? <laughs> so, as you see, another drop set. Is this the set. cockpit? Another, anyway. Another drop set. Another drop set. It was a double drop set. And it was a lot of reps. I mean, you, you can see there's a lot of reps. If you want, if you're really anal about it, you can go back and count. But more importantly, if you don't know why I am AKA, Massive Joe, AKA the White Giraffe, have a look at the skin tone <laughs> on the shins of the kid. Look at that. It's white. You can't, when I go to the top of my reps, check that out. You can't actually see the separation between my left and right leg. See, see I'm, I'm adjusted to it. I'm adjusted to Joe's blaring skin color. Therefore, you don't have to wear sunglasses in the gym when we train together. But all the other gym participants, is that the word for them? Yes. Why not? Whatever. Gym goers. Yeah. They had to exit gym the room. Gym friends. They had to exit the room. They had to leave. They Just couldn't a, stand the, the high exposure. 
Is this another cool leg? I don't, see, this we, don't is, have, we don't have names for these exercises. They're just... This, I think this is kind of like a squat press rather than a leg press because it's more of a squatting movement, but it's a press. I don't know. I don't know. Let's just call it Neve's leg push thing. All we know is they kill It you, works. They kill and it was cords. good, man. It was good. This was probably my favorite machine out of all the machines we used. And you'll oh, notice this shakes. workout. Look at the shakes. The trolls are going to get on this. I, no, hold on. I need, look at I the need, shakes. Look at the shakes. Elvis shakes. Elvis has entered the building. Get your hands off your knees. Sorry, Thank Joe. you. I'm just going to address the trolls because I know we're going to get trolled out in this video. All the, all the, it's, we might even get trolled out by our own bros. What for? For not using free weights. No, how come you didn't squat? How come you didn't lunge? How come you didn't front squat? Listen, guys, when you roll onto a gym, such as the Fitness Factory, which I might add, we have a full tour video going up in the next few days for you to check the whole place out. Epic tour of peace video. When you roll on into a gym like this, and there's all these cool machines that you may only get a chance to use once or twice in your life, you put the free weights down, man. You go straight to machines. Because I'm just going to say, there's a lot of... That's what we do. There's a lot of... Un, I'm not going to name them. There's a lot of gyms in Adelaide. I'm not Let's name just them. go Australia. Australia. Let's go yeah. with Australia. The oh, American no, gyms yeah. make Australian gyms look like play school. Wait till they see the massive... Look like Joe. a kindergarten. Wait till they see the massive Joe's HQ gymnasium. Oh, that's going to be epic. Oh... And the fitness factory are going to be supplying us with the equipment, apparently. Oh. They don't know it yet. But... Oh, no, I had, I had a chat. <laughs> Did you have... We better get some shout-outs in here as well, just while we're waiting for you to do your 500 rep set. We've got to give a shout-out to Eileen Jones and Eric Jones, the owners of Fitness Factory. And thanks for... Over uh, in Charlotte, North thank Carolina. Thank you for letting us train there. And Let us there. train there. Let us shoot there. Hooked us up with free shirts. And a gym tour. And a complete gym tour, man. But lovely, then, lovely people. Yeah. And oh, no, I, I stand corrected. This was my favorite machine. No, I didn't like it. This was. No, I did like this it. Was, but I did like it, but as you'll see from my form, my body didn't like it. Yeah, no. So this was, this was a front squat machine, and you can see it mimics a front squat, but you don't, instead of pushing up, you kind of push forwards, and the plate where my feet are on the plate allow you to kind of push forward. So what that does is it takes a lot of stress off your lower back. A lot of people complain that they get lower back and that they have trouble with their core stability when they front squat with the barbell. This takes that completely out. So all you have to focus on is getting balls deep this hit the with quads. each and every rep this hit and exploding up. And this was crazy quad and glute isolation. Uh, not even glute. Not even glue. Oh. It actually hit quad more. The way when the viewers, you drop back when it. the viewers at home see your terrible technique doing this, they'll understand how you hit more glute than quad. But front squats are a, are a quad dominant exercise, oh. except for Neve, they're a lower back dominant exercise, <laughs> possibly even a chest dominant exercise. That's a bit of shoulder as well. I was probably I was pressing up the weight. A bit well. of everything. I would say if I could pick one piece of equipment from the fitness factory in Charlotte and take it home, this would be it. No, I'd use the that. Front squat I'd use now, that, here we go. I would use that space shuttle looking motherfucker. <laughs> you could ride it back to Australia. <laughs> oh, that's not Now, good. this is what I'm talking about, form. Steve, I don't understand how you manage to fuck up form. Hold on, speaking of fucking up, what just what happened there? What are you doing? <laughs> was I not happy with the camera angle? Or did someone come and hit the camera? Is it pause or is Neve just really still? I can't, uh, I don't even know what happened. No, because my feet are too high on the plate. My feet need to be a bit lower. No, okay, so back to what I was going to say. I don't understand how you manage to fuck up front squats when you're given a machine purposely to do front squats. You've turned that <laughs> into a good morning. <laughs> if you just don't bend your knees, you're doing good mornings and hitting the hamstrings and glutes. This is, this is why I don't squat. What? Because I can't squat. You used to squat. You used to do powerlifting and squat oh, and quite heavy. My form was ridiculous. with form that looked like this. Yeah. Hence your knee problems. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so for all the youngsters at home watching in the gym with Team Massive Joes, if you're looking for correct squat technique, do the opposite of what Steve does, yeah. <laughs> and then you're probably fifty percent there. No. Oh. Yeah, it hurts just no it didn't hurt it doesn't hurt me though my lower back's very strong so i can get away with it yeah like i said one of your dominant body parts and then we finish this exercise off with these leg extensions but these are no ordinary leg extensions if you have a look on the left hand side of the screen you can see that there's weight plates all over the place dispersed in different areas different areas so this was one of those machines they're called strive machines and they're multi, uh, let's call them positions of flexion or max force focus. Max so force focus I would go with. Depending on where you put the plates, you get different max force focus. So 
If you put the plates in one position, maximum force is at the bottom of each rep, another position it's in the middle, and then the final position is up the top. So you see that Steve takes the weights off in a certain order as well to put different stress through my quads on every part of this. So I take off, drop see, so I take of off the big one now. So I think that, that form was at the bottom. That was the middle. That was the middle. So no, you no, just this made is middle. It. This is middle now because it's even. Okay, but I think you just made it easier through the middle of each rep. I don't know. It was awesome. Man. It says it on the. It says it on the instruction. And I'm not going to lie. I was feeling pretty good about my quads by this stage of the workout. That's why I rolled the pants up. I thought I'm going to show the viewers at home a little bit of quad separation. Yeah, because there's a lot of blood in I'm there. I'm sitting a little bit lean at the moment. Once again, the white giraffe skin has come to get him. You can't see a thing. <laughs> All you can see is overexposed quads at this point that in time, need to see some sun. See, at this point in time, you're starting, you might have had, you had a single striation in this, in your quads by this stage of yes. dieting. Yes. Now, two weeks later, you've got some, uh, about four striations. <laughs> I'm counting every one of them. But... <laughs> But because you're so white, you can't see anything. You can't see anything. I think I might have to start using some dream tan before we shoot these videos, yeah. just for the viewers at home in the gym with Team Massive Joes, so they don't have to see my paley white skin. Did you know that actually in Southeast Asia, I don't in, care. in particular China, that it's actually um, people want paley white skin? Really? Whereas in Australia and America, we all want dark skin. Maybe you should go live there. I, personally, I don't give a single f what colour my skin is. <laughs> It don't bother me in the slightest. I'm just making oh, a statement. What of is fact. this face, Joe? You've got to stop doing these faces to the camera. And what about it representing Team Massive Joe's right there? That's all right. As long as we don't have to see your face. You want to tell the viewers at home where they can get those shirts, Neve? <laughs> oh, you can get them from Massive Joe's. So you can get the TMJ or the Stay Massive shirt, which Neve is wearing. Which in, Neve is hitting up. In red, white, or black in both variations. And a number of sizes and colors. Guys, hit the subscribe button. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, man. Stay up to date with all the latest editions of In The Gym with Team Massive Joes. Get to see some more white paley skin and some ridiculous leg workouts. Some of the most ridiculous leg workouts we've seen thus far. Hit them with an angry face, Neve. Where we coming to them from, Steve? MassiveJoes.com. Stay massive.